Finding okay, guys, nice one. Uh, do you want to get yourselves uh, back to the office? Yeah. After filming a GCN show in the city of Bristol, we need to get ourselves back to our hometown of Bath, 20 kilometres away. Commuting by bike is the natural choice, but it seems we don't necessarily agree on the best tool for the job. What is the best commuting bike? Last he's riding his cross bike. Matt is on a relaxed road bike, but with full mud guards. I've got an out and out race bike. And Dan, well, no one quite knows what Dan's riding. So you, you're going on this? Yeah. It's 20K, mate. What's that? It's 20K. Yeah, it's 20K away, yeah. So where's your, where's your cycling kit? Uh -oh. Oi, Dan. Where, Where are you going, Dan? Dan, Dan, that's the station. What? What's he doing? We're it's supposed to be a commute. <laughs> Left here, Si. Si? That's the main road, Si. That's the main road. Si? It also seems that we can't agree on the best route. Matt and Tom are taking the quiet route. I want to get back as soon as possible, so I'm going the direct route. And Dan? Well, no one quite knows what Dan's up to. It seems like we might have a race on our hands. Where are you going, Tom? I'm off to have a bit of fun in the woods, Matt. Yep, you're supposed to just be riding to work, I mean. Nah, no, see you later. Well, I'm on my own now. I might as well enjoy it. This is why the cross commute is the best. Dan's underway, although he actually seems to have caught a slow train. Last year, as you've seen, has ventured into the mud, leaving Matt to cruise through the back streets at his own leisurely pace. And me, I'm starting to go into the red. Because of general life commitments, I don't get quite as much time to ride as I might want. So cycling to work is actually really important to me. When I first started commuting my bike, I bought a proper commuter. I had mud guards on it, I had relaxed geometry, it was textbook. But no matter how hard I tried, I could never love that bike. It felt slow and it was slow. So I sold it and I've gone back to commuting on a proper fast road bike. Short, it doesn't have mud guards, so if it's wet, I just get a wet ass. But that's okay. For me, the fact that it's fast, it can go faster when I want to, is super important. If I want, I can stay in bed longer, I can get home quicker, and most importantly, I can extend my commute so it's a proper bike ride. Ah! Cycling to work, to me, isn't a race. I certainly don't want to smash myself and get all sweaty, put myself in the red when I'm just riding to work. You know, you can still have an enjoyable experience just riding steady. I'm commuting to work in all sorts of weathers, hence the full-on mud guards with mud flaps. I certainly don't want to get a wet backside. Who would want a wet backside on the way to work anyway? As well as a relaxed bike and full mud guards, I've gone for nice, wide, 25 mm tyres, just for comfort and extra grip when the roads are wet like they are today. Now, the type of roads I'm choosing to ride on aren't big main roads, they're small, twisty, narrow country lanes 
and I'm also going to take some bike paths too. It's about enjoying the ride to work and getting there dry, relaxed and ready for the job at hand. But of course, occasionally I might just give it the odd little nudge. My cross bike is my best option when I'm commuting to work. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain when I arrive at the office a bit muddy and wet, but when it's dry or frozen, it's brilliant. I can throw in a few off-road sections, have a bit of fun, and work on my skills on the way to work. I've gone for a single 40-tooth chainring on my cross bike, which would leave me a little under geared if I wanted to go really fast on the road, but it's just right. I'm going to steady it on the road, including a bit of off-road. Also got some fat, slick tires, which means I'm not too slow on the road. Finally, the best option for this would be commuting on a disc brake bike. You'd have a bit of a weight penalty, but you're carrying a rucksack anyway. Dan's taken the lead, and things are getting tight as I'm stuck in traffic. Matt isn't actually that far behind now that he's on the bike path away from all traffic. And lastly, well, he's up to his ankles in mud. This is probably the best commuter bike. Probably. Hi, right, mate. Hello. Matt's not far away now, but poor old Lasty is still up in the hills. Look at him. Nice. Clean as a whistle, sharp as a thistle. Well, a few, uh, few puddles. Hell, Dan. You look good. It's really tiny, mate. And, uh, well coiffured. Yeah. It's actually not a spot, a spot of mud on you, is it? We're on to our second coffee, but Lasty is still nowhere to be seen. And my wheels have stopped turning around. Look at that. You look hot, you're taking your gilet off and everything. So Dan, seriously mate, why didn't you actually ride? Well, I mean, first of all I did ride. I rode at least a kilometre to get to the train station and it was almost a kilometre to this meeting point afterwards and second of all I don't want to ride on the days that I go to work I've got five other days to go on decent rides so I'll do it then. That is quite a, rel a relatively valid point but in all seriousness what is the best bike to commute on then? It's got to be a cyclocross bike Matt. A cyclocross bike with maybe 28mm slick tyres gives you the option to throw in a bit of gravel or off-road if the going is dry and if not it's really versatile you can throw mud guards on it great for all weathers. Yeah, to be fair, actually, I've got to agree with Lasty. As much as I love and would advocate having a fast road bike, if I had to have only one, I would have a cross bike. Just because, you know, you don't want to ride the same route to and from work. Actually, having the option to go off road is great. And you can also stick mud guards on it, which Lasty hasn't said. And, you know, so it's kind of like your bike, but it could be a fast road bike too. Fair enough. I mean, uh, I can see the points there, but I'm, I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I think uh, a nice, comfortable road bike with full mudguard set up, end up at work dry, clean, and also I think when you do hop and hop onto, you know, your road bike at the start of the racing season, there's that lovely contrast. So you can enjoy the kind of relaxing times on your other steed, the slightly heavier steed, more comfortable steed, and then you feel that difference when you jump onto the light road bike. So I'm going to stick with the mudguard road bike. We've got some more great content to help you with your commute. Absolutely. If you click up there on that video, then it's all about lighting and clothing choices. And if you click down here, it's all about locks. And to subscribe to GCN, click on us. What an appealing option, you clicking on us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you actually ever clicked on us? No. Oh. I already subscribed. <laughs>